Imagine descending thousands of kilometers below the Earth's surface to a place known as the Upper Mantle. It's not just an ordinary place, but a world of solid rock, mainly composed of a rock called peridotite, rich in magnesium and iron. It's as rigid and tough as the crust we walk upon. But wait, there's more. Nestled within this rocky upper mantle is a special layer, the asthenosphere. Picture a thick, gooey layer of partially molten rock, kind of like a rocky soup. This squishy zone is the secret behind the tectonic plates dance on the Earth's surface. Thanks to the asthenosphere, these massive plates can slide around, bumping and grinding against each other. So the upper mantle is like a rocky road, solid but with a partially molten layer that allows the tectonic plates to slide. Now, as we dive deeper into the Earth, things start to heat up. Literally, you see, the upper mantle is not as hot as the lower mantle. It's like going from a gentle simmer to a rolling boil. The temperature in the upper mantle ranges from 500 to 1,300 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt most things we encounter in our daily lives. But as we journey further down, the temperature rises dramatically in the lower mantle. We're talking about temperatures that can reach up to a scorching 4,000 degrees Celsius. Now, that's what I call hot. This increase in temperature makes the rocks behave differently. They become more fluid, like a thick, sluggish soup, constantly moving and flowing. This movement is what creates the convection currents that drive plate tectonics on the Earth's surface. Yes, the further you go, the hotter it gets, making the rocks more fluid. As we venture even lower into the Earth, the pressure is really on. Imagine you're diving deep into the ocean. The deeper you go, the more water there is above you, right? This water weighs a lot and you can feel the pressure increase on your body. Now, imagine this pressure, but instead of water, it's layers and layers of rock and magma. That's what it's like in the lower mantle. The weight of everything above results in pressures that can reach up to 1.3 million times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Incredible, isn't it? This extreme pressure affects the rock in the lower mantle, compressing it and making it denser than the rock in the upper mantle. So while both the upper and lower mantle are made of similar stuff, the intense pressure in the lower mantle packs those materials into a denser formation. It's a lot of pressure, but it's what makes the lower mantle denser than the upper one. Both the upper and lower mantle play a significant part in shaping our planet. Let's dive into how. The upper mantle, with its rigid yet partially molten nature, is the driving force behind plate tectonics. These tectonic plates, sliding and grinding atop the asthenosphere, are responsible for creating some of Earth's most recognizable features, including towering mountain ranges and deep ocean trenches. On the other hand, the lower mantle, despite being under tremendous pressure and intense heat, plays a key role in generating Earth's magnetic field. How, you ask? It's all thanks to convection currents in the molten rock. These currents create vast electrical charges, giving birth to the magnetic field that protects us from harmful solar radiation. So whether it's the upper mantle moving continents or the lower mantle shielding us from the sun, both layers work in harmony to make Earth the vibrant, life-supporting planet we call home. From driving continents to generating our magnetic field, the mantle is definitely a dynamic duo. So, we've journeyed deep into the Earth, discovering the three key differences between the upper and lower mantle. We found out that the upper mantle is solid rock, cooler and less pressurized, while the lower mantle is denser, hotter, and under higher pressure. These differences play a vital role in shaping the Earth and its geological processes. Remember, the more we know about the mantle, the more we understand about our beautiful planet. Keep exploring, and join us next time as we delve into the Earth's core.